two. Space Explorers, between the lines, please. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's our number one seed versus the number five seed. Let's see what the Red Alliance has going on. We got some hatch panels going on from Citrus Circuits and Madtown. 7137, it's Project 212. They've got a piece of cargo and they've delivered it during the sandstorm period, all without any direct line of sight. Looks like we also had a hatch panel successfully placed on the Blue Alliance by Daedalus. We also had some cargo delivered on the Blue Alliance by Indigo Dynamics. Blue Alliance trailing by only two points right now. Actually, what a good start for everybody in the sandstorm period using only those vision systems. Daedalus now dropping another piece of cargo into their cargo ship. Blue Lines pulling into the lead with a score of 28. And the hatch panels are starting to fly onto those rockets. we got four on one of those rockets for the Red Alliance. Actually, four on both rockets for the Red Alliance. And now here comes Citrus Circuit starting to load some cargo for three points each. Madtown, they've got cargo as well. they got one, two pieces of cargo in the one side of their rocket on the Red Alliance. The other Red Alliance rocket also has two pieces of cargo. Madtown and Citrus Circuits matching each other piece for piece on the Red Alliance side. Pulling Red Alliance up to a score of 51. Over on blue, oh, we've got 64, 74 Indigo Dynamics grabbing some more pieces. Looks like they're getting a couple more pieces of cargo and they're making their way over towards the rocket on the near side. We have some defense coming in from Project 212 trying to get in the way of these Red Alliance robots. But we have Wolfpack to save the day and try to push them out of the way. Wolfpack chases them back into blue territory to hold them clear of the Citrus Circuits, who now have placed some cargo into the cargo ship in the center after getting four pieces in their far side rocket and upping their score to 74. Citrus Circuits now finishing off the cargo ship side on their end, and it looks like Madtown's grabbing some more cargo from their loading station as well. They're going for a couple more hatch panels. Looks like they're going to both try to clear off the top level of the Red Alliance rockets. So we got two places of cargo placed in the Blue Alliance rocket on the front side as well. Blue Alliance up to a score of 46. They're going to have to try to climb as well to boost that end of end of match bonus. Circuits now placing a bit hatch panel. Looks like Madtown has got all their hatch panels on there as ready. And then we have T minus 25 seconds remaining. Red Alliance is leading. Final hatch panel placed by Citrus Circuits and final piece of cargo placed by Madtown to finish off that rocket and make it ready for a liftoff. We got one piece of cargo finished by 1678, but they're not going to finish off that rocket. They're going to go for the climb. They're lined up. They're going to go for a single climb of 12 points. Blue Alliance has Daedalus up on the Blue Alliance Hab level 3. We got 6474 on the Blue Alliance up on Hab level 2. It's a mirror image of our Hab levels on these two alliances. Let's get confirmation from the referees and then the Alliance with a score of 115 and the Blue Alliance with a score of 72. Red Alliance with their second win will be moving on to the finals. Blue Alliance.